At this point, you should notice three things. One, the air in the tubes are getting smaller and smaller. Two, the fluid level isn't moving nearly as much as it was before. And three, the piston is getting harder and harder to push in compared to when you started. All three of these are good signs and means you are bleeding it correctly. All right, that should be good. Let's take a look at the tubes and make sure we are done. As you can see, there are very, very tiny bubbles still in both tubes, but there aren't very many of them, so this is okay with me. Once you are satisfied with how yours looks, you can install the master cylinder back on the vehicle. I'm going to have another video coming out soon that shows this procedure. However, I do want to mention a few things. Make sure you do not remove the fittings or the clear tube until you are ready to connect the brake lines back on. Also, when you are ready to connect the brake lines, make sure you do one at a time. Do not take off both of the fittings and then rush to put the brake lines back on. And finally, make sure you bleed the brakes after you finish.